Greetings, one and all. This is Cast for the Sin Cast. Because this isn't this is a gonna be a regular review. I have officially finally seen Wonder Woman. So, um, what did I think? Well, it was not a bad movie. It, it was definitely better than um, Justice League. But let's get into it. I'll give, save my final thoughts for later. Um, so basically, this movie starts off with she goes to her place of work in London because, of course, she does. Well, <laughs> I say that like I'm reviewing a Marvel movie because, like, oh, well, she goes into her work in New York. Of course she does because every damn cocksucker in the Marvel Universe works out of Mar New York City because... Uh, Stan Lee couldn't freaking come up with his own own cities. Yeah, and I don't care what people say about that. You know what? You can come up with a bunch of characters, but you have to focus them all on one fucking town. Piss off. So, um, so yeah, so she's in her office. She gets a delivery from Wayne Tech. Initially, I was, I saw this and I'm like, and I'm glad this only lasted for like three minutes maybe. I was like, oh God, what what the hell? Is this going to be one of those, oh, here's something from Wayne Tech and then it's going to come up at the end of the movie. No, this came up right at the end. There it was just him, them uh, delivering her a, the original picture that he showed her in um, Justice League because... Lex Luthor had found the picture of her and blah blah blah. So there was that. And then she starts going on. We see her um, origin where she's a little a kid. It she's the only child on this island of on the um. I can't. I'm not even going. I'm sorry. I'm not even going to be asked to freaking try to. Um, pronounce these names. Um, so the homeland of the Amazons, the home island. The Amazons were apparently, who were apparently in this continuity, created specifically to fight Ares, who wanted to destroy mankind because um, little difference of opinion uh, because he was this side says he was jealous of um, them this side says that no 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 I wanted to show them for what they really were and all this and that so yeah take that form which one um, so she grows up she's eventually her um, her aunt who's the general of the Amazonian and uh, armies Begins as begins to be allowed to teach her how to fight because her mom initially didn't want to have her taught, and she's the queen, you know, Hippolyta. Hippol uh, oh, man, I think it's Hippolyta. I I know that was the name of the queen. That, but yeah, I mean, so she learns. We eventually, Steve, um, the love interest in this movie and uh, accidentally finds the island leads a bunch of accidentally leads a fleet of german ins to it and yeah so that that all starts this is when she's obviously grown up and getting into her powers which is basically clang clang boom i'm not even going to I can't even mock that. I'm, I'm not going to because it's like, okay, fine. You got your it, later reveal. So she um, she saves him. The Amazons fight off the Germans who came, came onto the island. This is all during World War One. For those who don't haven't seen the movie or don't know already. So this is, and eventually they're like blah blah blah. Find out the question him, find out what he's there for, why, which is basically he was there by accident, 
What is he? He's a spy for British intelligence. Blah, 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 blah. She and Diana, um, Wonder Woman, if you want to go there, takes him and goes to Europe to fight the war and stop Ares. Now, once again, to so this that basically goes into this, the second act. So they're in Europe. Uh, there's shenanigans, a fish out of water story where she's amazed by everything. Uh, she calls London ugly, which, considering we're still in the, unfortunately, still in the. Um, well, I'm, I can't even lie. This gray. Everything having to be gray. It's not. It, it's it, it's not art. It's not an art style anymore, assholes. It's not an art style, Holly Weird. It's not. Stop it. Stop with the grays. And everything's gotta be gray and done and and boring. It, it's it's really. Uh, if there is one thing that I will go, I, I get why they did it because it's a, it's a, um, it, what it comes down to is it's a war film. And I think it fits the scene better than when they did it with the, how they did uh, Captain America, where it's very, where it's like, yeah, Captain America. It's like they show. Captain America, it's always bright and colorful the whole damn way. It's wow, I kind of actually hate like that movie less now. Huh? Doesn't make me hate um, Red Skull. Red Skull's still my favorite villain there. I'll get into stuff like that later on. But it's anyway. So there it in um. London, they're doing the whole um, fish out of water, as I said. They, she's mad at him because she, he's not just flat out taking her to the front lines. And he's like, no, no, I need to do this first, and then we, we can get you, get out there. So they uh, do that. They. Then, um, take the thing, they go into the office, because this is a, um, and, and this is, this is where I'm sure a lot of the, is gone, would, we usually get, which apparently it didn't, but I think that, fortunately, this movie came out before the whole, that whole crap hit the fan, um, because, yes, it, for that time, if there was a woman in a military operation meeting or something like that, yeah, they probably would have gone a little bit like, Oh my God! Oh my God! Which, I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. Very point on there, so. Um, anyway. So, they all freak out because, oh no, you brought a woman in and then... Um, his, and then um, Steve's, one of Steve's superiors, after they get out of the thing, is yelling at him because, how dare you bring this? And he's like, I have this information. I don't care about the information. I am, bro. Like, <laughs> anyway, so eventually the, um, not sure if he's the minister or what he is, but he comes over. He's like, no, no, this is cool. Great. I'm glad you... You shouldn't have done it, but I'm glad like, you did it because I actually got a word in. So yeah, we got that. So they get, they um, go to a bar, despite the fact that they're told, Don't, no, you're not going to do this, man, you brief a bit. You're not going to the front line. They go oh, collect some guys, a, um, Scotsman who's pretty much a drunk 
and a wants to be a singer. So it's like, okay, there's just there's one. Um, another guy. I can't. I, I'm not sure if they want. Per, they want that you call them Hindus or something. Um, or what? So. Mm -hmm. Uh, so he wants to be an actor, so that's basically what he is. He doesn't want to be a soul, neither. He explains to Diana later that none of us really want to be or what we are, that we kind of get got shrugged, shoved into this, which is basically, again, how things happened that back then. Anyway, so they go to, they get together, they go to Europe, um, they're in the trenches and getting attacked. Lady asked, a lady stops Diana as they're passing by and is like begging for her help. Steve tries to explain to her, no, we can't do it because it's a freaking kill zone out there. It, no man's land, but it's a kill zone. And he's, and she's like, and basically, you know what? This is why I really loved about this character and how she was done was basically she, she honestly didn't tell, tell call them names and stuff. She basically said, and okay, fuck you. And then she went and did it. She didn't and um, undermine them. This was great. I don't know why Marvel didn't do this with like Captain, Mar Captain Marvel. Why didn't you guys do this? Because Wonder Woman was a lot better than that. Was a lot more fun to watch. A lot more made me think, think, and stuff. And but no, no, Marvel's got they got a formula. They got a formula. They got to follow where it's CGI fuckery. And there was CGI in this. I admit that there, there was basic, but it was like in the background. It wasn't in your face kind of. It was an in-your-face kind of CGI, which Marvel just loves to death to do. Everything's in-your-face CGI. DC, this movie, really subtle, and only brought out the CGI when it would help enhance the thing. Marvel, in-your-face! Here it is! Here's a shitty purple guy that wants it with his glove that wants to destroy everything. In-your-face! Let's screw it. it. It's a Disney thing now, too. So, they didn't do that in this movie.